welcome back. The big thing now is to take lots of vitamin C because of the COVID thing and people think they're doing themselves some good when in fact they're probably creating kidney stones. I'll explain why in a minute. Now vitamin C is important. You do need it. You do need lots of it. Your body cannot create it. You have to get it from outside sources. The difference is the type of vitamin C that you're taking because the synthetic kind that you're taking, that white powder from the store, or the pills or the capsules, that is made in a lab by putting cornstarch and sulfuric acid together to create a synthetic form of ascorbic acid, which you can technically call vitamin C, but vitamin C is actually a compound which includes bioflavonoids and four other elements which create the complex called vitamin C, but that's a whole nother, I made a video about that already, but the point is that this cheap synthetic ascorbic acid breaks down in your body into preformed oxalic acid which binds with calcium, which then creates calcium oxalate stones, otherwise known as kidney stones. That's one of the biggest reasons. One of the main forms of kidney stones is calcium oxalate stones. And it's ironic because these people who try to be healthy, these health nuts, people who think they're being healthy by taking a lot, what, what do people do, right? They take lots of vitamin C and lots of calcium pills and they think they're doing themselves good. I'm gonna make a whole nother video about oxalates, a big video, because there's a lot of misconceptions. One of them being that if you eat plants that have oxalates in them, you're going to get kidney stones. That's usually not the case because when plants grow, their oxalate, oxalic acid is naturally found in the plants or in the ground, is already tightly bound to the calcium and it goes right through your body because it's so tightly bound. The kidney stones that people get are formed in the body from free floating oxalic acid that binds with calcium. So where does this free floating oxalic acid come from? Well, one of the main reasons is the cheap vitamin C ascorbic acid that people buy from the store. It's not the plant form, it's the synthetic isolate because that breaks down into oxalic acid. It's like a magnet for calcium. And I, those of you who see my calcium video know that you've got so much calcium in you, everything you eat has calcium in it. Not just the dairy and the milk and the cheese and the cream and all that, but bread, pasta, cereal, cookies, crackers, all the healthy stuff, the fruit and vegetables, nuts and seeds, everything has calcium in it. When a person dies and they cut the heart open, this white goo oozes out of their heart and that is calcium plaque and it coats and clogs everything in your body. Your arteries are filled with it, your joints are solidifying with it, your kidneys are turning to stone. You know, the stiffer you get, the older you get, that's calcification because you got too much calcium in your body. So when you take this cheap synthetic vitamin C, it sticks to that calcium and it starts creating oxalate stones which are like these sharp crystals that form in your kidneys and you do not want to get those. Again, I'm going to make a whole video about the oxalates, but the thing that I'm trying to say in this video is don't buy that cheap synthetic vitamin C, it's going to create kidney stones. It's so important. In my vitamin C, that it's just where, where this is just dried plants. That's all this is. It's just fruit that's high in naturally in vitamin C. It's dried, so it becomes a powder. It's still got the fiber and the bioflavonoids and the minerals and the vitamins. This is a food. It's just plants. This is not a synthetic isolate. It's way different. Everything to some degree has oxalic acid in it. And if you get it in plant form, it's already bound to the calcium. So that's way different than that free floating form that is looking for calcium to create stones in your body. Um, there's other things too, you know, like people who eat a lot of meat that becomes ammonia in your body. And when the ammonia combines with calcium in your body, now your kidneys really turn to stone. That's a major issue. Kidneys are so important for your health. Um, that's why I made a kidney formula. But the main thing is to not take something. The main thing is to eat the right foods in the first place so, so you don't get the problems. The answer is not, what do I take? The answer is, what do I stop doing? You need to understand what true health is. Eat the right foods in the first place. Now, I know you don't want to hear me lecture you. I know you just want Kara's recipe videos, but it's important because if you don't do what Marcus says, you could end up getting kidney stones. I think you don't want to experience kidney stones because it's one of the most painful things in the world. It's 10 times more painful than childbirth. Forget having a baby. You do not want to have kidney stones. <laughs> it is not experience that I would ever wish on anybody. So that's what I'm here for, to help prevent the pain in your life. So uh, I hope this helped to some degree. Um, that's it, right? Okay, so in the next video uh, that, that I make, I'm going to talk about oxalates and uh, hopefully make some people feel better because there's so much fear-based stuff out there, it's ridiculous. You know, people are getting, uh, uh, anyway. So, all right, so I will talk to you in the next video. Have a good week and uh, stay healthy, bye.